Welcome. You're listening to Ask the Doulas, a podcast where we talk to experts from all over the country about topics related to pregnancy, birth, postpartum, and early parenting. Let's chat. Hello, hello. This is Kristen Revere with Ask the Doulas, and I am thrilled to chat with Kaylee Joanne. She is the owner and founder of Tender Seasons. Kaylee was born and raised in Michigan and still resides there with her husband and two children. She is passionate about motherhood and nothing gives her more joy than being a mom. Our topic today is all about reclaiming your beauty and the self-image you had pre-pregnancy after having a baby. So I'm excited to dive into this subject with Kaylee who has personal experience with it as a mother and then created her business based on the struggles she had in finding clothing and nightwear that made her feel sexy and confident after having a baby. So welcome, Kaylee. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So let's get into again, like your big why for creating your business and your personal struggle in finding nightgowns and clothing that made you feel like your former self or less like that mom who is feeling frumpy and just Mm -hmm. not ready to receive visitors or, you know, all of the things that we feel as a postpartum mom. Yeah. So my journey started with my first pregnancy with my oldest son. He's four now. And I got pregnant and by the by the end of my pregnancy, I had like gained like 60 pounds. So I definitely felt different. I looked different. I had all of the fun stuff with the puffy ankles and puffy yeah. face and I felt, yeah, I felt miserable and I went shopping to try to find some like maturity stuff, but also like for postpartum and my options were very limited and nothing felt like my true style. Like it just felt like the same style that I literally saw my older sisters wear, my mom wear, my grandma wear. Like it was just, I was like, why hasn't anybody put more effort into this? And so, especially with nightgowns, so I had, I was going to go for a weekend getaway, kind of like a baby moon. I want to say I was 35 weeks pregnant and I went shopping to try to like find a maturity nightgown and I could not find anything. I ended up buying one that was like three sizes too big. It wasn't even maternity and it just, it looked awful. So That was kind of where the frustration started. And then I ended up having my son. And then I realized when I started breastfeeding that the nursing bra options were really not great either. I was packing my hospital bag. Yeah, I was passing packing my hospital bag. And I was like looking at the bras that I had and I had looked all over. And I was like, well these are really not cute. But I was like, I guess I'll deliver in this one because it's kind of a a purpley color like it versus just like the skin color and black. And so, so yeah, so I had my son and the frustrations just continued. And I felt, yeah, I didn't really feel like myself. And I know with motherhood, you're a whole new version of yourself. But when I looked in the mirror, you know, I had the added weight gain, but then also like the type of clothing that I like to wear, I couldn't wear because either I couldn't fit it or the breastfeeding options were same old, same old. Right. And especially the nightgowns and the bras is what I just kept thinking of. So when my son was three months old, I was like, okay, nobody's going to do this. I'm just going to do it. So I had no experience with designing or running my own business. My dad had run his own own business my whole life, but I really didn't try to like learn ins and outs of that. So I was kind of nervous, but I was like, you know what? I got to start somewhere. So 
like I said, my son was three months old. And I remember this moment exactly like I think about this all the time. Uh, he was in a little bouncy seat, just kicking yes. and happily kicking. And I was like, I'm just going to start somewhere. So I grabbed a piece of paper and some pencils and I sat down and I just drew up a nightgown, a maternity and nursing nightgown. And that's where it all started, honestly. I love it so much. And your bras are beautiful and you expanded to some baby gear, like you have swaddles mm -hmm. and cute little hats and leggings and so much more than your original vision. Yes. And did yeah, that, that come fun. from feedback from your early customers on what they needed or how did you expand your vision to be more encompassing? Yeah, some of it was from customers saying, hey, we'd love to see this. And so what we started with is we just started with one nightgown and then in one color, and then it became the same nightgown in three colors. And then we had a couple other maturity dresses, and then we had one bra that we started. And then people really liked it. And we were like, oh, okay, this is going well. But then with our manufacturing, we had a couple issues with trying to create like the extra large sizes. Like we have now been able to get this specific bra into size three XL, but we were hearing from women that were, you know, four XL, five XL, like, right. Hey, Hey, like I can't fit these and nobody else has my size. So that's why we came out with our second bra, our Eden bra to fill that need, but also like so much more to be there for, cause it's a three in one. So perfect for nursing, sleep and delivery. That is so beautiful because I feel like one, bras are expensive and yes. as a birth doula and a postpartum doula, I'm always talking about what you can wear in labor, not to wear a sports bra. It might get cut off and what might make them feel good in labor and also be able to have that skin to skin time. Mm -hmm. And then as a postpartum doula, helping them plan for their return home and all about, again, enjoying that skin to skin time, whether they're breastfeeding or not with baby and being comfortable and leakage that comes with, you know, that postnatal time. And so what would make them feel good about themselves, especially because there are a lot of interruptions, whether it's your hospital stay or coming home, there's visitors, family members, and you want to look and feel good. Absolutely. And like the, the craziest thing that I did not realize before I had my son was that I would be wearing a diaper. <laughs> like it's yeah. like people joke about it, but I had no idea. Like, right. and so it was hard enough and like feeling being in a diaper just kind of felt like humiliating like it was like oh and you're leaking like, everywhere and sore oh, yes. and you just don't feel beautiful and um, then after you have a baby it's all about baby during pregnancy especially if it's your first the mother is celebrated and there might be a shower or a sprinkle and family members are talking about cute baby bump and so on and then after you've gone through this transformative experience whether it's baby one or baby five then mm -hmm. everyone wants to hold the baby the gifts are for the baby and the mother feels left behind and it's hard to even process the experience of, again, like you talked about wearing a diaper and like <laughs> leaking and, you know, it's feeling just less than in that stage where your hormones are, you know, it feels mm -hmm. like a roller coaster of emotions. You might feel weepy and then you look at, you know, this outfit that you're wearing and the fact that you're making women feel celebrated and beautiful in this time that they can feel a little left out is, is wonderful to me. Well, thank you. Yeah. That women and new moms are a big passion of ours. We, so me and Lene, my business partner, we felt a huge need for this and we also dealt with these issues ourselves and so 
after we were like, okay, we're going to do this. We were like, okay, moms need to find out about this because we really wanted to help mothers change the narrative and to feel empowered and not to feel weak and all that, because it is sometimes for some women, it's hard to walk. It's hard to move and all of this after just giving birth and what you wear does make a difference but also you want something that's comfortable and not completely unrealistic. So that has been really beautiful to see the community that has been created through this and all the women that we have been able to to reach out to and help and encourage has been bigger than we had even thought. And so that's been really, really cool to see. Yes, and Kaylee, I feel like, you know, just the change in a relationship, especially if this is the first baby and wanting to feel beautiful for your partner and to not just feel like parents, like put some priority in the relationship. So if, you know, you're not wearing this frumpy gown, I remember when I had kids, my daughter is 13 now, my first child and my son is 11. Like, I pretty much only had motherhood maternity to shop at. And I had this gray little nursing tank and robe and pants set that I wore postpartum, like pretty much constantly. And I felt really frumpy in it personally. And now there are all of these cute gowns and robes and florals. And I just didn't have a whole lot of options back then. Yeah, I, um, I had gotten a gift from someone at my baby shower, which had the sweetest intentions. And they were like, this is a dress that you can wear for delivery. And also like you could leave the hospital in it. And so I tried it on when I was, when I was pregnant with my first son and I looked in the mirror and it was this huge, like baggy, like heavy dress and it was green. And I, I said to my husband, I started laughing. I said, I look like Shrek. I literally look like an ogre. (laughs) So yeah, it is true. Like you want to look good for your partner and you want to feel confident. It's, they can say, oh, you know, I, you look amazing and all this stuff, but you have to truly believe it. Yes. And it's such a mental thing. Yeah. And every day, I mean, it's, trying to feel more like yourself and the woman that you are versus getting into that mom role and feeling like you exist only to change baby, feed baby, Mm -hmm. like help baby sleep. It's like to get some normalcy back and feel beautiful and sexy and feel like you are still desirable is a huge shift. And so I think that fashion and your line of bras and the gowns can make a huge impact. I mean, little steps. Oh, absolutely. And sometimes it's as little as just wearing a bra that makes you feel cute because whether we realize it or not, what we wear, it does impact our brain and how we take care of ourselves. So with postpartum, I like to encourage moms, like even the little things like brush your hair, (laughs) wear something that makes you feel cute because what we really want moms to feel, and I feel like it's not talked about enough, is what you did was absolutely incredible. And we want you to feel powerful, empowered. We want you to feel beautiful, sexy, and to actually believe it. And And yeah, I was just going to say because of social media... Pinterest, Instagram, I feel like the postnatal phase is documented a lot more than when I had my kids. And Mm -hmm. so wanting to look beautiful in a photo of a nightgown or with a robe and to, I don't want to say like Pinterest perfect, but you get where I'm going with that. Like there is that pressure in pregnancy and certainly early parenting to keep up with what you're seeing online. And now there are so many other choices fashion-wise for mother and baby, like again, those cute swaddles and hats that you have. And Mm -hmm. so, you know, if that makes you feel good, 
having these beautiful um, choices for the photos or videos are another great thing to consider. Hey, Alyssa here. I'm just popping in to tell you about our course called Becoming. Becoming a mother is your guide to a confident pregnancy and birth, all in a convenient six-week online program. From birth plans to sleep training and everything in between, you'll gain the confidence and skills you need for a smooth transition to motherhood. Live coaching calls with me and Kristen, tons of expert videos including chiropractic care, pelvic floor physical therapy, mental health experts, breastfeeding, and so much more. You'll also get a private Facebook community with other mothers going through this at the same time as you to offer support and encouragement when you need it most. If you'd like to learn more about the course, you can email us at info at goldcoastdoulas.com or check it out at thebecomingcourse.com. We would love to see you there. We also have a book called Supported, Your Guide to Birth and Baby, which makes a beautiful companion to this course. It's a great book for any expecting mother and is the perfect baby shower gift. You can find information on that book at supportedbook.com. Definitely. When I had my second son, Tender Seasons had already started. I started it in 2020 and then we officially launched our website in 2022. And that's when Lene, my sister-in-law and I started working together and as business partners. And that was, by the way, the best decision I ever made. Yeah. It can be tough to work with families. So yes, it worked out well. Definitely. And with working together, like our talents just complement each other so well. It was kind of fun because she had had she had two kids already, and I just had one when we started. And a dream of mine was next time I have my next baby and I'm in the hospital, I want to wear my stuff that helps me feel cute yes. and strong. And so when I had my second son, I was wearing nightgown for delivery, and then I was wearing our bras for postpartum. But during my hospital stay, I had taken several of our stuff and like my baby was in our hat and swaddle and I had this dream of like while I was in labor orders coming in and me getting the notifications on my phone and it was super fun having that experience that I had dreamed of um, come to light thanks yeah it was and then when family came to visit me I did I felt so much better like, and I felt, I felt cute and I felt presentable and that was huge. Yeah, it really does make a difference. And again, like setting some boundaries, limiting visitors, trying to rest and whether our listeners feel comfortable having, you know, now that visitor restrictions have lifted in most parts of the country, you know, having five people in and out of their labor room or all, you know, the visitors in the postpartum room or waiting until they get home. You never know when baby might need to feed or with the bras, I feel like they're beautiful, but also they're discreet. And if you needed to, um, nurse in public, Mm -hmm. if you were comfortable doing that without a cover, then that could be an option for you with family members or friends coming and going constantly. Yeah, absolutely. Like you definitely said it with being able to do it quickly in public, whether you decide to, if you're one of those that does a nursing cover or not, I'm not, but I'm not against them. I think they're wonderful. I think it's everyone and their comfort level is the right thing. But one thing that when we came out with our bras that was important to us was to have that easy, quick access. Because, you know, when you have a crying, screaming newborn, you just got it and they're ready to eat. You just got to get it out quick. Exactly. And so that's nice with like, so we have our lace bra and then our Eden bra. So our lace bra, it's like a quick, easy nursing clips. And you can do it just with one hand. And then with Beautiful. our Eden bra, you just pull it to the side. And then also with postpartum, while your body is trying to decide like how much milk am I supposed to make for baby? Personally, I dealt with milk leakage for a while, like for several months. So did I with both kids. Yes. Yeah. And I'd wake up in a puddle of milk 
And I'm like, what just happened? So that was one thing with our lace bra that was really important to us is it's leak proof. So milk leaks are not an issue. It, it absorbs the milk leaks so that you're not getting it through your shirt. I was at my newborn's checkup appointment and I'm sitting in the waiting room and people were starting to look at me and I was like, what, what, like, what's going on? And I looked down and I had been wearing, this was with my first son. So like one of the nursing bras and I had through my bra, through my shirt, a stream trickling down to my lap of milk. I've been there. It's the worst. I marched in a parade once and I leaked through my shirt and there was nowhere for me to go. And I was pushing the stroller, yeah, with my son and I was leaking and it's hot and oh, the worst. Yeah, and these are just, these are parts of motherhood. And I think ways that you can help things be more seamless, I think is important because motherhood is busy and it's chaotic at times. And there are so many new gadgets that I'm thankful for, for clients, like the milk collectors and just so many more breastfeeding and pumping related gadgets to make life easier. So back when I had kids, it was like bamboo pad inserts and I would be feeding on one side and leaking on the other and they wouldn't collect enough as an overproducer. So I am Mm. thankful for all of these milk collectors. Yes. Very true. So one thing I would love to cover with you, Kaylee, is just, you mentioned, you know, being your bras, being able to support larger breast sizes, but it can be difficult in pregnancy and in the postnatal phase to choose the right bra because our sizes change so drastically. Um, You know, when our supply establishes during pregnancy, when things settle as far as, again, supply, um, you can often need to purchase multiple bras in different sizes. It can be challenging to find the best fit. So what are your tips in handling those changes? Yeah, so typically we suggest size up. But if you're wanting something that is going to work for you while you're pregnant and once your milk supply decides to regulate, our stuff is very stretchy. So usually that will do the trick. But if you want to play it safe, order the size that you're currently in while pregnant and then size up so that if that happens where your breasts get a lot larger when the milk comes in, you'll have that second option for however long that takes. And then if they decide to kind of go back down, you'll have that other one that you had in pregnancy. But a lot of women are buying our bras while they're pregnant and it works all through. Um, I think it's more of those extreme cases where they go up like three sizes right? <laughs> when their milk comes in that they might need to get another size. But yeah, all of our products are extremely stretchy and soft. So you're never going to feel pushed on. And especially with clogging milk ducts, I have dealt with clogged milk ducts in the past and it is one of the most painful things. And what the lactation consultant told me was you have to make sure that stuff is not pushing your clothing, your bras are not pushing on your milk ducts. And that was something that was super important to us too. Like we do not want moms to have to deal with that. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. That is amazing. So is there anything else that you would like to highlight from your product line? Yeah, so we came out with a baby balm a couple years ago because my son was dealing with diaper rash and nothing was working for him. And the rash just kept coming back. I mean, I tried all of the diaper rash creams and pastes and you name it. And so we came out uh, with our baby balm. It was originally called baby bum balm. But then our customers were like, hey, I'm actually using this all over my baby's body. Like it's working great for eczema, cradle cap. So we kind of rebranded that and decided to do it like all of our baby balm. 
And that was a complete game changer. My son's diaper rash went away right away within 24 hours and it never came back. I used it all the way until he was potty trained. And so this has been a very popular product because moms are using it for all these different things and it's helping with a lot of stuff. And my youngest deals with eczema. So I use this on his skin and it helps him so, so, so much. With this formula, it's all organic. Everything is very clean ingredient. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head every single ingredient, but one of the main ingredients is we have our oil is infused with calendula flour. Nice. And calendula is extremely healing and has been known to help with like burn scars and all sorts of number of different things. And having that in there, it does this like hydrating and nourishing and healing all in one. And has been something that moms absolutely love and keep coming back for more. And was really, it was life-changing for for me and my household. Again, solving problems. Couldn't find the right products, so you created it yourself. It's what moms do. Yeah. And and like, that's another thing. Like, I want to encourage moms, like, you can do whatever you put your mind to. And just because you have a baby or children, like don't feel selfish for trying to, to follow your dreams and to be doing things for yourself as well. Cause I know that a lot of moms will feel selfish for doing anything for themselves after they have a baby. Cause they're like, everything inside them is like, take care of the baby all the time, baby, baby, baby. And everyone, including your partner and your children are going to be they're happy when mom's happy. And so I feel like it's important to take the time to do things that help you take care of everyone else because you can't pour from an empty cup. Right. So true. Excellent. Any final tips for our listeners, Kaylee? Tips on what specifically? On just anything with balancing motherhood, um, or preparing for the postnatal phase, anything you want to suggest? Yeah. Give yourself grace, give yourself time and try to find the beauty of your changing body. Because for some reason, the minute you have your baby, people are like, oh, you got to get the baby weight off. You got to do this and hide the stretch marks. Yeah. And that's something that, that we're not okay with. (laughs) We're really, we encourage women to be healthy But also that starts with a healthy brain. So loving and embracing your changing body. If you have stretch marks, okay, cool. Look, you have something that that shows what you did. You grew a human and that's absolutely incredible. So kind of changing things in your brain to look at that and be like, wow, like, and say to your body, like, thank you. Instead of just, you know, squeezing the parts that are, you know, a little fluffier than they were before and stuff like that and kind of looking at it like that, I think it's important to realize that that's, it's beautiful. Everything that you've gone through and creating a human, it is beautiful. And yeah, that's what I want mothers to know is just give yourself grace and be kind to yourself. Beautiful. So how can our listeners connect with you, Kaylee? Yeah, so they can, so we're on social media, we're on Facebook and Instagram, we are also on TikTok, but the best way to reach out to us, if you just want tips on sizing, or you have any questions, or you just want to say hi, probably the easiest way is to send us a message on Instagram. Um, We also have a couple emails as well, if you'd like to reach out, Tender Seasons, dot Lene at gmail.com is a good one. If you want to contact with, to talk with Lene, both of us love to hear from our customers and we do not mind when customers are like, Hey, I'm this size. What size do you suggest? Or they're like, I have, this is my first baby. I'm worried about sizing for when milk comes in. Some people are like nervous to reach out to brands because they're afraid that their messages are not going to be replied or that they're bugging people, but with us, like we love hearing from our customers. So 
do not feel bad. We love hearing from you. And yeah, it makes our day when we hear from our customers, honestly. I love it so much and everything that you're doing at Tender Seasons. Thanks for sharing your founder story with us, Kaylee. Of course, of course. Thank you for having me. This has been such an honor. It has been my pleasure and I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Absolutely. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Ask the Doulas. For more information about Gold Coast Doulas, visit us on our website, goldcoastdoulas.com. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. If you like this podcast, please subscribe and give us a five-star review. Thank you. Remember, these moments are golden.